I obviously didn't turn my camera on, the other camera on. Hello from Slovenia again. Today is a special day, special episode because my fellow artist and friend from Netherlands, Rinske Dauna. I'm pretty sure that you all know who, who Rinske Dauna is, but if you don't know, highly recommended to check her out. She give me gave me a challenge. Do's and don'ts challenge. This is the challenge that um, Rinske started with Sarah Mack and uh, she challenged some other artists too and Sarah challenged them so in her last episode, Rinske's last episode of Do's and Don'ts, she challenged me and of course I accept, accepted the challenge. It's been almost two years since we did a, do a collaboration last time, so it was fun. Um, and um, she she challenged me, and Sarah Mac challenged Molly. So check Sarah Mac and Molly from Molly's Artistry too. They will publish their do's and don'ts. To you and at the end of this video I will challenge another artist that I didn't collaborate with before so stay tuned for the final announcement who my uh, partner in crime will be uh, joke so to do's and don'ts that Rinske gave me uh, three do's do you use triptych? So I have three canvases. Do you use at least one purple base? I already painted all three of them because I will use purple base in all three of them. And do you use negative space? You know me how I am with the negative space. I hope. I was thinking really hard what I want to do to keep a negative space. So I hope that I will keep some negative space with this technique. And my don'ts. Of course, don't do a flower. <laughs> this is the best thing to say to me. Don't do a flower. Uh, okay, don't do a flower. Don't use a skewer. And don't use more than five colors in total with the base coat again. So thank you Rinske, you challenged me, I have to admit. Uh, but I finally decided that I, I put my um, uh, wood underneath so because uh, when I will do a pour I want to have a pour uh, kind of that it will flow and then that's why I painted all my sides because when I will separate them sides are already painted so you know if uh, somewhere paint will not flow doesn't matter but I have to separate them before they will start drying otherwise they will glue together so I just um, use this um, tape and tape some wood underneath because I will tilt a little bit so Purple. Um, so I will I for a base I will use permanent blue violet and I will my technique that I will do will be a dustpan pour with the split cup I just need something that I will put under my trusty dustpan that I will be able to pour on, that it will not flow. Huh. Flow, 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 flow. So here we go. I didn't prepare these things. I this thing. I I was pretty sure that I have all in in place, but obviously not. This should do. 
okay and my colors for today will be iridescent iridescent blue green and I will pour this one in the first chamber okay and next is permanent blue violet Amsterdam this is the same one that I have in my for my base so this one will go to the to the second chamber okay and next is of course I have five chambers because I can use just five colors is iridescent precious gold from PBO and you will not believe I will not use my pearl white today because I kind of want some straight lines and the next one is Amsterdam manganese blue phthalo and the last one is Amsterdam expert series permanent red violet and I will not pour my base down right now. I will do this part with the dust pan before I will put my base down. So I will do a ring pour on this dust pan, shower, whatever, Donald. And then I will pour in a, a stripe here and then I will pour my base and tilt it a little bit let's see if this will work so let's do our ring first And I will add a little, oh I have a lot of this purple in the cup of my base color, not a little, we'll add a lot, maybe, okay, and now I have to be careful because I want to have this pattern all the way, so let's start. I made it! Ooh. I will just try to tilt a little more or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I will just pour a little purple here to cover this part too because that I will not mess with that. I have to say that I'm kind of happy that I did this straight pour there because it gives a little, it 
it's not just you know rings on rings it has some different um, pattern in the middle and I kind of like that so maybe I will even don't not till this much I will see And I'm using, I didn't tell you, I'm using 12 by 20 inch canvases, three of them, so this is pretty big thing at the end. say that I can't use a, uh, a stick so let's pour this on. So here is the dry result of my triptych. I really love all those lines and those beautiful colors together. Hope that you can see this iridescent blue-green dries really, really beautiful and I will say that I'm happy with this how it looks <clears throat> and purple is really really dark so thank you Rinske for challenging me for these do's and don'ts and now I am challenging you Kathleen from Cos Creations to do do's and don'ts with me. I hope that you will accept this challenge and don't forget to check Rinska's do's and don'ts and Molly and Sarah Mac, Molly for Molly's art, Artistry and see you on the next one. Bye!